Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today let's make some burp cloths. But let's make them a little different. Let's put some little shoulder protectors on it, all well wasting no fabric at all. Now the fabric today I'm going to use is by Shannon Fabrics. It is a double gauze cotton and a nice terry cloth. The terry cloth and the gauze you can buy 60 inches wide. So you're going to be able to get eight burp cloths from half a yard. So I make sure I wash both the fabrics before I cut them out and sew them. So it doesn't matter what fabric you use, I would highly recommend washing them because these are going to be washed a lot. So you want any pre-shrinking done way before you get the sewing done. That way they're always going to look nice. So I have 18 inches by 60 inches on both the fabrics. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the terry cloth before I cut it out. So the terry cloth is 18 inches wide by the length 60. That 18 inches is how long that is. So the length that it's going to go around the shoulder. So if you want to make them longer, you just need to buy more fabric. If you want to make them narrower, you can buy less fabric. And to mark the fabric, Download the PDF in the description. Because this is 60 inches wide, I'm going to be able to get eight burp cloths at seven and a half inches wide. So my measurement from the bottom of my paper up to this top mark is seven and a half inches. Now, because this is going to be 18 inches, I just need to make the pattern longer this way so you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. So I'm going to just add some paper onto the back. Tape the paper right on so you know that it's the size you need. And this line just needs to be in the middle of the fabric. Once you have the width, you need to extend that line. So just put a ruler and extend that line all the way so that you're going to be able to have a straight line right here. And just cut out this curve shape. I like to use a heavier paper like a cardstock because I'm going to use this to trace. Open up your terry cloth and have the wrong side facing up because you're going to draw on this side. Take your template and line it right up along the bottom and trace that curve. Now I'm going to be using a sharpie. That way you're going to be able to see it. You can use anything you want, but this is a cutting line. So there is my first shape. I'm going to take the pattern and I'm going to slide it up matching that straight line. So you're going to have that little bump out there and you're going to be able to match up those edges and I'm going to draw the next line. Remove that pattern and line it up. Draw the next shape. You're going to be able to just keep this pattern moving up all the way to the end. As you move up, you might find that the last one is a little bit more narrow or maybe it's a little bit wider. Depends on how much your fabric did shrink. And for the last one, you still will be able to draw this little hole. This is going to get joined all the way to the end piece. So this piece will eventually go here. But first, we're going to cut all of the two layers of fabric together. Turn your fabric over. So we're going to take and match up those fabrics so that the right sides are touching. You're going to want to smooth them out and then flip the fabric over. Line up those two fabrics and pin them together. Now you're going to treat each piece separately. So you're going to need pins on both sides of these loops. Once they're all pinned together, you're going to be able to cut out on these lines. Here was the first one all the ones that were in the center and the last one. And the last one had that little piece that we cut out. And that's where the neck is going to go. So you can take that little piece and transfer it right to the end. You can match up those seams, sew them together. When they're sewn together, you're going to be able to treat this all as one piece. You're going to be able to take this entire stack to the machine and sew it. They're pinned and ready to go. So you can either put them on the serger or do them on the sewing machine. What you need to do is sew around the three sides, leaving one side open. So here is that one that has that little 
point sewn on. They're still remaining the same shape. We're going to be able to take those and turn them right side out. Once they're turned inside out, give them a press so you make sure all of the seams are nice and flat. And the end that's opened, just take that and fold it in a quarter inch. Now you'll be able to take and top stitch all the way around and do that to the entire stack. And now it has a nice clean finish on both sides. Even the one that we added the little piece looks nice. Eight burp cloths and not a stitch of fabric wasted. So that inside curve is going to fit the neck quite nicely. And that little extra point is going to cover the shoulder and we're done. It is a quick and easy project. We know they're going to be machine washable and we know they're going to be appreciated. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.